It's been a really stressful time all around the world as we deal with the global pandemic and the uncertainty that it brings. What life will look like over the next few months has changed and this can be extremely overwhelming. You won't be able to control this situation or its outcome, but I know that you can control the way you think and how your brain processes this information. It's okay if you're down one day. You don't have to have it all figured out. If you're feeling great the next day, well then that's amazing too. I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that every single day is a new day and each day my advice to you would be to take small steps. Know your limitations. Understand your distractions. Channel your anxious energy into action. And that action is really simple. Wake up, make your bed, clean your space, watch the energy in your space begin to slowly transform. Channel your energy by going for a walk. And if you can't go for a walk, well then do some exercise at home. Do anything at home that makes you happy. You see, I think that it's really important to put yourself first, to be kind to yourself. Be willing to do a new thing in a new way. And sometimes you're going to have to challenge some people just to be able to do what you want to do for yourself. And that's fine. You see, the moral of my story is you just have to be happy with yourself. You have to be content with what you put out. And so if one day what you put out is less than what you put in the day before, then that's fine. But as long as you're happy with yourself, you see, it's all about your narrative, right? What you tell yourself about yourself, the stories you tell yourself. If you see yourself as a victim, then you gonna be a victim and if you see yourself as a success then, then then you are a success but ultimately it's up to you focus on your dream and do everything in your power to change your life circumstances and so if there's one question I'd like to leave you with for you to ask yourself it is what's your narrative